Oh. Oh, come on. All that in one? Luminous. Oh, this looks like part of a quest. Strong long stick stick. Fight them, please. Electric choo choo. Cool level. This low level gel monster is engulfed in electricity. Its strength varies depending on its size. It tends to explode if attacked from close range, so the use of spears, arrows, and other ranged weapons is advised. Yellow choo choo jelly, a jiggly substance that came from an electric choo choo. Electricity pulses through its gelatinous -like mass. If struck, it will explode in a burst of electric current. So, a jiggly substance that normally comes from a fire choo choo. Substance that came from an ice choo choo. Substance that came from an ice choo choo. I know this one was from an. I see Choo Choo that I accidentally burns afterwards and it became so I have different descriptions if I got one the first one by killing uh, the same element Choo Choo or if I transformed one of the others hmm not sure like that my OCD wants them all to be the same or they all to be different, not a single one being different from the others, especially if it's not a special uh, Blue Hinox. Let's awake. No, you're silent. Let's wake him with that. Do you cause damage? I... I did. Ah, let's spin this one. Ah, the middle of Hanok's brother. Okay, this is part of a quest. Guts, I didn't have yet. A giant smelly Hinox organ of unknown function. Upon close inspection, it appears to be quivering. It can be used to make an elixir, but some say it has other uses as well. Was it? Uh, blue Hinox horn. There's just a mess. Uh, this mean looking horn is wrapped in hard chains. Uh, that's a weapon to moderately increase attack power. Or cooked with a creature to make an elixir. Roasted carp, roasting this freshwater carp helped su suppress some of its stench, making it easier to stomach. You can really sink your teeth into the thick, meaty flesh. Roasted trout, this trout can be found all over Harrow, served river to table. It's simply cooked for a soft and flaky flesh with more flavor. Where are the other weapons? There was a weapon hanging on his neck that I didn't have. 
place blood storage. Next bow. The sturdy metal construction of this bow offers a better durability, while its lack of firing quicks makes it quite reliable. Was favored by Knights of Hyrule Castle. Oh, could use that during the fight. Okay. That one looks different. Mm -mm. Ah, that's where the liner used to be. I haven't seen a single liner yet. No exit from here. Okay, let's get back and check the others. Although I'm pretty sure missing the beginning of a quest. The others may be in other caves. Let me just check Pain's quest. I'm pretty sure the heart of the twins, I think, that's what he said, is between both mountains. I think this is too low still. I may need to ride a rock upwards. Mm. No, let's check here. Yeah, I have to pull it with strength. Okay, but I don't know how to do that with the other one still. Yeah, let's get back there and ride a rock upwards. I can just pull it, so... Then I tried sinking it as much as I could and then releasing it. Oh, that's it. That was close. It helps here. Is this still the best place to get? Uh, maybe there? Is this the best place to get? Stars? Star fragments? That's kind of where I was thinking the Iga could be. Ah, Princess got kidnapped. Seems the Iga have kidnapped the princess. Oh, Ruth is left behind a single clue. We have taken Zelda to the carved out heart of the towering twins. Yeah, it seemed to be the center of the mountain. The twin seems to have caught Ben's attention. Uh, let's see those torches here. Oh, yeah, yeah, it is here. Huh. There's more torches over there. Well, they do know how to disguise themselves. I hope I have to interact with that. No cutscene starts or anything when we're gonna close. No, let me interact with that. Great, great. Mm -hmm. I don't have my 
regular clothes yet. Let's go about dressed for a picture of the princess. Yep, let's replace. This way, this one is saved. Hi. Oh, Link, you came to save me. You recognize who I am, right? Zelda. I knew you'd come to save me. Quickly, do something to open this cage. Do something to open this cage. Like... I can just... I can, I can break that, can I? I was thinking about bombs, but... Hey, watch it. Did you move? Did you budge? No, it doesn't. Uh, it vanished. Only the valiant golden haired knight, known as Link, could have such a sturdy cage like could move such a sturdy cage like that. Uh, I knew we would lure in some heroic wannabes if we used Zelda as bait, but we've even managed to snare you. Hey, don't worry, once we find the real Zelda, we'll send her to join you. Promise. Alright everybody, this is definitely the golden haired golden boy. Get him. What about the cage? Where's the cage? I want to drop the cage on top of you afterwards. We'll let it off easy now, but don't get used to it. We won't have back ne hold back next time. Be prepared. So you weren't really trying to kill me. Bye. Hey partner, where are you up to down there? Did you see? I was fighting Zelda. Oh. I've been circling the area for leads. Uh, I was sure that the word twins in the vicious letter was referring to the Olympics. Ah. No, I'm not so sure. I found nothing at all anywhere around here. What about you? Have you figured anything out on your end? Oh. What? You're saying the Eagle sent out the letter all to lure you into a trap? Uh, why would the Eagle give a hoot about you, partner? Kind of tooting your own horn there a little bit. Anyway, getting back on track here, it's a huge relief knowing that Princess Zelda hasn't actually been kidnapped. Mm. You know, we've now chased five of the leads. That was five already. That might have had something to do with Princess Zelda. Oh. Your investigations are the talk of the office at the Lucky Clover Gazette. You are really shown, you've really shown promise here. <laughs> and it turns out the paper is doing really well thanks to the articles we keep putting together. Which is why Chris told me we're both getting raises. Go on and add this to your nest egg, partner. Great. I'll head off and start packing away. And an uh, article about the Iga Clan scheme. People need to know the truth. Wow. So long. Okay, back there. Maximum. Okay, so I think I'll bring Epona back. No, let's take in Jogo. I uh, will also have that guy here. Oh, my friend, I got separated up there. No, okay. My friend's sending a smoke signal. Can okay, we just catch up? Well, okay then. Equipment. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't know if Koroks are more resistant than other people or they just can't say no to Link because anybody else that I've taken from one place to the other would complain about that. Another one. Blazon Shield. The shield features a traditional design from the Cluda. Its combat capabilities aren't much better than the standard wooden shield, but it's a found popularity for its design. A full blade halberd. Start sooner. I don't think I can actually hit this one, but I wanna try. And there, there, the stats still uh, from here. Huh. from the sky as well. Oh yeah. That's from the sky. Mm. Anything around for me to make a boat? Great. Where? No. This is way too far. Where did it go? Come on. Where did it go?
Bye bye. Uh, you said bye bye. They don't say bye bye anymore. I didn't notice that. Out of the way. Come on. No, leave it there. This reminds me of Twilight Princess. That works. Big hearty truffle, years of going unpicked have allowed this hearty truffle to grow quite large. When cooking a dish, you restore all hearts and can really increase your maximum hearts. A full blade spear. Oh, that's not a level like. I thought it was a level like. Shock like. These monsters can be found all over Hyrule in dark places such as caves. They generate electricity inside their bodies and expel powerful lightning balls from their mouths. It's believed that they is is them pray this way, but there's still many unknowns about them. <laughs> no, it has to be physical stuff. Like stone, a stone which is stone exposed, exposed to high voltage inside the body of a shock like. It maintains some charge even outside the creature. Cook the creature to make an elixir. Oh. Shoot out my eye. Okay, I think I've completed this. Okay. Uh, by road to the other wetlands. Okay, uh, I discovered it over there. That's why it didn't tell me. Oh yes, I did shoot a... Uh, uh, bubble frog here. Oh, and there's a Talos. Luminous, this enormous monster is naturally camouflaged as a rock formation. Near Sornar, arrow can pierce its stony form, but a cunning adventurer knows to scale its body and attack the ore sprouting from its beak. Stronger than your average stone talus, and unlike that creature, its ore deposit consists mostly of luminous stones. Come on, Tully, shoot it. N not there. Oh. 
Oh, it's wet, wet in here. No, that. That's pretty. I'm not gonna use it. Why not? <laughs> Luminous Stone Talus Hammer. Yeah, but I'm not. I'm gonna save it. Now we're done. <laughs> Arrows. Now we're done. Mm. Well, what? How do I turn it? Oh damn! It. I should have come with my horse. Yeah, it's it's better to get the horse. Hmm. An arrow wetland swell. Oh. This place. Ah. Traveler. Ah, you're an eager. Yeah, this word there, you're an eager. Did you know if you put your ear to a well, you can hear the wailing of the dead? Ah, uh, is there a reference to Ocarina? Or so they say anyway. I've heard. <laughs> wow, heroes really don't know a little bit about everything. And guess what? You'll be joining those wailing deads very soon. Your life's mine. Mm-hmm. Now I have something to break. Stuff. Huh. Uh, spoon. Uh, we've met once before, don't we? I remember now, right to you. After my interview with Josha, ah, uh, for the Chasm Researcher position. Uh, quite a tough interviewer, Josha was. I wonder who could possibly have held up to her scrutiny. Oh. I did. You may look at me and think, that man is not a doctor, but in fact, that is precisely my vocation. And being somewhat not young, I feel an urgency to make a lasting mark on the profession before my sunset years. Uh, that was why I volunteered for the Zona Survey team. You see, I believe that new elixirs and remedies might be derived from the plant and animal life found in chasms. Uh -huh. That is why I'm here, 
This is my chance to be on the ground floor of the new field of chasm medicine. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't remember exactly what she said, but would it be helpful? Would it be good for her to get any help she can get? Great. Did I spoke to you? Mm -hmm. uh, what's the source of me right now? I've heard of it. Right, kid? The watery seed where the Zora live? I don't think I spoke to you then. I've heard it's a gorgeous place, beautiful sparkling stone work everywhere you look, definitely on my list of places to see. I ran to a Hylian once who was on his way there to see a Zora Vi. Oh yeah, I hope she has grown up. <laughs> it was, it, it just warmed my heart. Yeah, isn't it wonderful that people from such different cultural backgrounds can become friends? I hope she, he may reach her safely. Sounds like the road to Zorzomain has crumbled and no one can get across. Mm, so I won't be able to get my horse there again. Huh? Hydrate. Makes sense. Water buffalo, these wild cows come equipped with big strong horns, and you should be able to get those horns for weapons. They live off grass and the grows near the waterfront. Their meat is considered to be high quality, so they're a common target among hunters. Fun fact, the domesticated Hateno cow, often raised in villages, was bred through selective breeding using this. Damn it, I'm on water. Electric Reese Robe. These spellcasting monsters can be found all over Hyrule. They hurl balls of electricity, some of monsters surging with electricity, and have been known to cause thunderstorms in the area. The weather will normalize once the Reese Robe is defeated. Out of the water, out of the water, out of the water. Oh, oh come on. Rod. Okay, don't need it. Oh yeah, they don't drop anything, only their weapons. No! Damn it! I was pressing to climb my horse! It should definitely be a different button. It's a bit dangerous. I don't know if that could have hurt me. Damn you. Damn you.
Oh. Oh, another well. Sells island well. Well, oh, daughter was a rock. This is more all on their wetlands than the other. Oh. Come on. Deal. Oh. Ah, that's their horn. There's a bunch of vocal skulls. Hey! Push the ground. Yeah, those bones will stay on the ground for me to use. Oh, ow. That was a large area. Oh, come on. Don't don't bring back the rocks. Damn it. No. Die. Oh yeah, he doesn't die, he doesn't die. I forgot about that. Great. Oh, whatever, why am I saving weapons? That's a nice way to break rocks. You have no life. Oh, it's not losing life. Uh, do I have to do something different? Uh, 
Ah, okay. Stanox Horn. The impale's coast should serve as a warning, but if you do obtain one, attach to a weapon to vastly increase its attack power. Or quickly to a creature to make an elixir. Okay, everything broken. Oh, a bunch of them. That's a different block I never seen. Um, that's probably useful. Like that, H. Ruins rubble. Nine. Okay. I think it'll be better to break rocks. Hmm, B meter. So the device that shoots a light beam from its horn, inflicting damage at great range. <laughs> Feed a lot of seeds. This the plant that bears the seeds grows near deep water. The roots draw nutrients from the water. Which boosts your movement speeds when the seeds are cooked into a dish. 